What's up everybody, it's Mike back again today, MFA. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Right, today we've got a 24 millimeter diameter RDA. Now this one's called the Torin RDA, which is the same company that made the Torin mech tube, which I have here. And we've got it in the brass and black, which also matches the mech tube with the Ultim top on it got the Cerakote black finish and I think it's a rather a nice match up this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down low I'll show you the packaging that it comes in and then we're going to throw a little build in it today also and then we'll come back up top and I'll tell you what I think about the Torin RDA by Thunderhead Creations. Okay see you down low in a bit. Right so we're down at the table right here's the little trinket bag that the RDA comes in got this little key ring here which indicates black and yellow so I've got the black and brass it's got a felt bag here so inside you get this little baggie with the warranty card allen key the regular gold plated 510 because I have the squonk pin installed got a couple of spare grub screws stainless steel and three o-rings there right and it also comes to this like, stainless steel Container, so we have Torn RDA logo there, Thunderhead Creations logo on the top, and on the bottom we have the package contents, email address, and some other information there. Now we've got the QR code there and the scratch and check authenticity. This just unscrews on lovely threads, and it is actually attached to this handy little atty stand here. And what a lovely touch that is. Just leave that off for a second. So here's the RDA. So this is made of brass, this top cap, and we've got the Cerakote black paint finish there. So we've got the Torin written there and the logo on top. Here you'll see the, there's some knurled section at the top here this is a one piece top cap but this is just for effect more than anything we've got the 810 fitting low profile Ultim drip tip that if you can see there we have the o-ring at the top so all of your 810 size drip tips will fit in here perfectly so on the bottom the thc logo there couple of markings and Thunderhead Creations serial number 0451 and I have the uh, Squonk pin installed and it's surrounded by a peak insulator. So we just put it on this atty stand. And here you'll notice the airflow so it's like a oval shaped airflow on both sides. This can be used in either single or dual core. Uh, this is fully adjustable, so you just put it around. You can close it off on both sides. Or you can just open it partially or have it completely open. And there is a stopper on this, so you can remove it from the device quite easily. So we'll just pull this off. Right, here's inside the top cap. There you can see it's actually made from brass. So you'll notice there we've got this little notch and I'll show you how we use that to actually lock the atomizer in a bit. Now I've got some sort of angle there, slightly domed to aid with the flavour. Now onto the deck section, we've got two rather nice O-rings on the bottom that holds the top sleeve on. And if you can see here, we've got a big chunk of peak. Now that surrounds this positive block, which is actually this section here. And the negative are these two posts here. So the peak insulator actually goes around a positive pin and then around the section. Let's just grab my angle ended tweezers. You just see it here. 
So you can see the squonk hole there. This is perfectly flush with the bottom of the base. There's not much actual juice well here. I'd say about three to four millimeters, but because it's a one piece top cap, basically you'll get in up to the actual airflow slots in juice well size. Now you will notice that with this honeycomb airflow we've got, you've got 14 holes on each side. Now if you do squonk too hard on this, you'll notice that the, the juice will find its way out of this airflow slot. But you do need to squonk quite hard for it to actually leak out. Now it takes hex style screws that you can see here grub screws. Now obviously your coils are going to be sitting here and here or one in the middle if you're doing single coil. So that does mean that your lead, leads will be deformed if you're using flat wire. It would have been better if they came in from this direction here. Now it's fully stainless steel this with no gold plating in sight which I really do like. So here's the indentation and this is used if you find that notch that I was talking about so this one here you line that up with the indentation on this side push it in and then it clicks into place right so first of all you ensure that you've unscrewed your screws so the holes are actually showing then you grab your coil I tend to use not too fat coils with this one because you, as you can see with the airflow slots they're quite narrow so I've just got this and I've got the core legs at 5.5 millimeters I believe. Smile no night at you Nothing makes me feel like you do The fact of you Is it voodoo? Is it voodoo? It's like a hurricane Twisting around the side of my brain Tell me honey do you feel the same? We'll catch that train to a higher plane Feelings running untamed Let's not give a thing a name Your smile gets through my day When things don't go my way Right, so that's the Torn RDA, coiled and wicked up, so let's go back up top and I'll tell you what I think about it. Back up top we have the Torn RDA. This time I have it sitting on top of the Furion mechanical squonk device by Losvape. Now this Furion has got a polished Altum um, brass panelling on it. The Torn it's made from stainless steel, the actual deck, but we've got this brass top cap with the Cerakote black finish with the Ultim drip tip. And I think it's a nice little match up this one. So what do I think of the Torrent RDA? Well, the, the fact that it's got a squonk pin is a very good thing because with this, it does squonk really well. Now, you don't want to over squonk on this one because it has got a very similar deck to the 
recurve RDA by Watofo and Mike Vapes. If you look at them both there, they're both 24 millimeter diameter RDAs, but as you can see, the recurve has got a much narrower build deck area because this one's designed primarily for single coils. Now you can do single coils in the Torum, but what I was finding was because of the actual it's got 22 millimeter build deck area. I was finding with a single coil, it's not benefiting from the airflow which is on the transitions. Because the coil is like situated on its own in the center, it's like the airflow is not, it's not hitting it as well as it does on the, the Mike Vapes uh, recurve one. So I do think that this works better in dual coil mode. Uh, especially with round wire builds because we've got a, quite a restrictive airflow on this uh, Torn RDA as you can see with the actual airflow slots and the actual airflow holes that are on the transitions I was finding if I was putting like chunkier like tricore fuse claptons and stuff it was getting a little bit too hot and the flavour I wasn't getting the greatest flavour in the world so I definitely think this is better with round wire builds or your thinner like fused claptons but your big chunky calls I don't think I don't think it's designed for those type of calls this particular one it's definitely a restrictive director lung vape which is something that I like very much indeed now this is great that it's got a stopper on it but sometimes you forget that it's got that notch on and you try and put it on the actual mod and it doesn't go down because you have to turn it round to the correct side first before you can get it on the actual uh, on the base there and so sometimes it's a little bit of a fiddle to get the top cap to line up properly but once it's on the adjustable airflow has got a very nice uh, resistance to it and, and it's also got a stopper so it means you can take it off the mod with no dramas at all with this particular RDA. Now I love the aesthetics personally for me I like the knurling on the top I love the brass logo we've got with the Tor in there I think it matches the Furion very nicely and it also matches the Torum mech tube so these are obviously designed hand in hand and I think it's a killer combination. So aesthetics are definitely a good one for the Tor and RDA. Now I would have preferred it if it came with an additional drip tip. Such as a, a Delrin, black Delrin would have been good uh, with this. Or, and also a 510 drip tip adapter would have been good for people that like to use their 510 drip tips. Because after all, this is more of a restrictive director lung vape. So you really don't need to give this uh, too much of a press on the squonk bottle with this one. It will juice up the wicks very easy, just the smallest of presses, much like the Stage Vape Venus I found. So it's not one that you can just hold your hand on the squonk uh, bottle for as long as you want. So you do need to worry about it actually coming out of the airflow slots. But it works well in squonk mode and it also works well as a dripper on your mech tube or your other regulated devices. So that is definitely a pro. Right, what cons can we find? There is one con. The screws go in the wrong way. So if you are going to put some fuse claptons in or some flat wire builds, it will deform your legs. So I do recommend to twist them 90 degrees first before you... Uh, screw them on down. It would have been much better if they'd been coming from this direction like the recurve RDA and other ones. But we'll just have a quick toot. It's got a really restrictive direct alone this one. I rock it fully open and the airflow is really smooth because we have got that pepper pot, you know, honeycomb style airflow. It is a really smooth, restrictive uh, vape, this one. Right up my street, this RDA. Now, what's the flavour like, though? It's pretty decent, actually, the flavour on this. It's uh, not the best flavour I've had in the world, though. I probably was expecting a little bit more flavour. I actually believe the Recurve has better flavour with just a single coil. 
and also the Recall Rebel has definitely got better flavour. But the actual experience I'm getting is a really good one because of the nice smooth airflow. And uh, yeah, it's a decent flavour, don't get me wrong, it's a decent flavour. But um, it's not the best that I've ever, ever experienced. So that about wraps it up for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing too. There's plenty more reviews out there. And you can also find me on social media. And I've got a website too. It's mfape.co.uk. So please check that one out too. Okay, until next time, guys. Thank you all for watching. And cheers. Cheers.